Hello. Hi. Hello. I just decided to pop on quickly. Tired or not tired. Um, you know, this, with the energy is coming in. Wow, I had, I had, yeah, let's not go there. Sleep hasn't really happened for a few nights. And I see the energy is coming in and massive uh, downloads. So this huge surge we've had, it, it keeps going up, as I said, it's and it's not going to end in a hurry. So compared to 2020, this is probably the biggest surge we've had so far come in. So we have had a massive surge of light, of frequency and vibration on the planet um, that we haven't had before. So it's caused, it's, it's causing a massive shift in consciousness too, um, which is really needed. So it's really going to boost the amount of light and the consciousness on the planet. So those, obviously, like I said, spiritual revolution, we have a lot more people waking up. We'll have those that are, whatever levels they're on, being notched up. But what I wanted to go what what's coming through is so much is coming down all of you all of, we all gonna we're getting massive downloads there's so so much to say there's so much coming in right so much information coming in which is really gonna notch you up a level but it, it's a rough it's 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 <laughs> oh, it's not gonna end in a hurry so uh, we've got to just hang in there it's not gonna stop in any hurry soon um but you you're getting used to it right Sleeping, yeah, I don't know, that's interesting. I'm finding it interesting, actually. I'm amazed when I wake up in the morning, I look at the time, I think, how the hell am I awake? <laughs> I just don't sleep. So anyway, I haven't. Uh, but I intend doing it. But anyway, so let me tell you what's happening, what's coming as well. I did, funny enough, I seem to get like channeled information and I seem to be a year ahead of time normally when I see visions or get told what's coming, what's happening. And I channeled stuff, videos on you for YouTube last year. And if people go down my YouTube channel, you'll see one saying huge change is coming to the planet, but people didn't get it because they, you know, they are still different level of consciousness and we were in the dark, so you couldn't see it. Because people expect, if you told them something, they were thinking they're gonna see it now. Everything is, is anyway. So this new paradigm, the new earth, it's lovely to see it actually happening now. And it's gonna, it's hard for people to get their head around it because humanity, we keep comparing to the past. Nothing where we're going has any comparison to past Earth or past anything. So this is an entire new paradigm we're heading to. Humanity is going to see its has ability to reach the highest level of consciousness it's ever had on Earth. So we can go like really high. It's only ourselves that are blocking ourselves or limiting beliefs, old beliefs, old scriptures, everything, basically, that old earth. The religious, the scriptures, the teachings are old paradigm. So if we don't let go and we still want to move into the new paradigm, the new earth, with those old teachings, that was for that paradigm and that level of consciousness. We are now, it's, the, the roof has been taken off. Remember, we had the 3D dome. We moved out of that dimension. So we can't expect to see the same type of everything in, when you're in a different dimensional space. We've got to try and get that. So the more we can open our mind and realize, no, nothing. Don't look at anything to do. Don't expect anything to be the same because you're in a complete different dimensional space, different level of consciousness. Everything. So even your scriptures, what you thought, what you were taught about, there's no, you are going to see levels of consciousness that humanity has never reached before. And the only thing that's going to stop you from going, you know, to the highest enlightenment is yourself. That's it. Is your, if you've got any limiting beliefs, I can't, well, that's not, that's not right. And this, it, especially if you've got the more teachings you have learned, which is a disadvantage in a way. For those that have practiced spiritual teachings and anything like that, in the old paradigm, you're very stuck to that. It's very hard to break that. Because, no, that's wrong, that's sinful, that's this, that's whatever. So really, they're going to find it hard so the people I think that are going to benefit are people that haven't had any teachings. Because it's much easier to teach anyone from new who's picked up or has got bad habits and tries to say, no, that's not the way you've got to change it now. This is how you do things. You see people that say, it's, anyway, we're going to see what people would say, um, miracles, which, we, because I mean, in that paradigm, you would think they're miracles because we were at a low level of consciousness. Not many people had that, like, you know, level of consciousness. Those that are standing in there knowing their truth, their power, whatever they're focusing on, because it's you, your belief, your focus is, is the only person that's holding yourself. So if you're focusing on, if you just want to levitate, you want to do this, whatever you're focusing on, you're going to do it. 
especially if you believe and don't have any doubt or don't think or think you're not worthy, can I please, you know, you know, you're down here and source is there and you've got to, you know, you've got to beg. There's no begging and groveling. The more you can see or realize that you're equal, there's no, you know what I mean? It's not God and you. I'm an extension of God. So God's not unworthy. So why would you think, you see, I think the, some of the biggest blocks and stumbling things are self-worth, self-deserving. Because you see, you were burnt and told and it's blasphemy and all these things and whatever else in the past. So this is very, it's individually depends on the people. That's what I'm saying. We're going to see, and science is going, which well, I'm loving, I'm, I'm so glad that I'm able to witness this. So for me, it's amazing to be here to see, to watch it. So everything we thought, like we were so, you know, advanced and we, we, da, 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 da. we have just, this new paradigm we've just moved into, say 2020, we started a bit earlier, but the real shift started 2020, basically, say from 2020 onwards, <laughs> what humanity thought was happening on the planet, well, <laughs> not even close. So what, Megan, if what you saw is super abilities and superhuman, no, this is not a superhuman, this is the human now. So people thought I was a few people that had these amazing abilities and amazing, no. This is the entire humanity moving that way. The ones that are on the awakening path, the ones that are following this path consciously or seeking to raise their consciousness, working on it, and not getting stuck and limited, well, there's only 5D or there's this or there's that, you know, that are actually, depending on, you see, we all, remember, everyone's in a different path because Source wants to experience it through many different angles, so we're all not going to, but there's no limit We've got to get over this. There's no limit now to what you are able to do, perceive. Forget about the old earth, the old anything. Way of being, teachings, uh, limitations, the way you were taught, what you were told, blah, 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 blah. Nothing. Nothing. It's even the spiritual teachings, it's a whole new paradigm. And they're going to see this, they're going to see massive differences. So for those that cannot accept the change, anything new, no, that's, they won't, they refuse to be open-minded, they refuse to move, to change, to, they resist it, right? The awakening, the light, or whatever it is. So even those in the science is going to be interesting, because they're going to be forced to see, they're going to start seeing, wow, this group of people are like not aging, they're living longer, they're able to do this, and this can levitate, and doing spoons, and heal cancer, and da 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 da, -da and miracles, and manifest all kinds of what you're going to think as miracles, is not. It's just them have taken their restrictions off themselves as beings. And just like, okay, it's an open book. It's, a, it's all, just think of it as, as a clean canvas. You have a clean canvas in front of you now. And it's up to you what you're going to put on it. Literally, I'm not joking. This is humanity. You are being given a clean canvas, people. You can create whatever you want. If you think wisely, though, hopefully. It's still, you know, always not, it's not, yeah. anyway, never mind. So with the right dead, yeah, we the, it's the sky's the limit. I think it's incredible. I, I'm so it's lovely. It's I'm so I'm, I'm so happy to see it. And what the vision that was shown to me then, now I'm able to witness it. Because what we thought, when they go back, a hundred to two hundred years, they're gonna go back. And this is gonna be the biggest it's like a cutoff point. Then they're gonna realise, wow, this is when everything changed. So what we call the dark ages, the stone age, the primitive dark ages <laughs> this is it before 2020 basically is they're going to say 2012 probably because that's when it really started but the serious shift like we've had a massive awakening the boost really we got to kick up the ass really 2020 kind of it really got exponential we took an exponential jump and they're going to come back and they're going to write books and they're going to study this time and they're going to be studying the scientists and they're going to write books about that was it that before was the dark ages and what was funny was what was shown to me in that vision, as I said, we, we religiously are. I channeled a couple of things and I told people about this on my YouTube. I made videos talking about what's the big changes coming to humanity, da, 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 then. But this, I never know when I get them. So I don't know how far it was. Now I'm starting to see it. It was so nice. And when they showed me the other day, I was talking about, I was laughing. The idea I was given. Cause it's, and I'm seeing it now because that's what I saw. I saw... These people, like humans, when I'm saying to them, they need to come out of the darkness. So I saw people, you've got to I said, rise above the darkness. They're going to choose to get out of the mud like this dark, dense energy and rise. They float up above it. And then because when they hear all they can see is darkness and everything's negative. And, uh, but when they rise into the light, it's a whole different paradigm. 
So what I was shown then, in a way, was showing me, this is what we are, we're leaving the, what we thought we were so, you know, we, look at us, we've got these and we made and we've got technology and I mean, we, yes, we don't, we, when they wake up, they're going to realize they don't need technology. This is going to be a stumper and it's just pollution. Tech waste dumps galore. It's pol massive polluted. You can't biodegradable. There's no robots that are biodegradable on computers and smartphones and batteries. It's, it's, it's toxic waste. It's, all technology is, is and computers and cell phones and TVs are toxic. There's massive, which are hiding, massive toxic dumps that are not biodegradable. All these smart this and that cars and phones and batteries and robots and you know, just like that. There's a, funny enough, go look at Free Wally. They, they, they made a documentary, like a kiddies document, the kiddies cartoon about Wally. And our earth was just a massive tech dump was just, that's it. This is what they're trying to do is technology, technology, because they haven't got the, we don't need like our, they're now looking back at the, they call the ancient civilizations and how did they build the pyramids and things? Consciousness. <laughs> anyway, they will start seeing this now and they're going to come back to this time. I'm just telling you what's going to happen. It's fascinating. The people are going to start w w witnessing a lot of miracles. What are they going to say? Oh, miracles. It's going to become a common thing. And people's abilities and more of these and you know going to change like things we've moved into a different dimension we're in a different dimensional space so how would you think earth would be any the same nothing you've got to get over nothing is going to be the same so we're not the same you're going to see people whatever they say levitating this that abilities i can hear stuff now like, who knows see things feel things in the normal psychic it depends on the level of consciousness and their beliefs restriction that they basically self-imposed or been taught. Oh, it's bless me, you can't do that or that. Or most of it's self-worth, self-love deserving because you always saw God and you, oh no, God's there and I'm here. You see on a pedestal. This is how it, most, it's almost all our religious teachings on the planet have been like that. So yes, absolutely. Oh, it's difficult to explain, but you're just an extension in this, in this Maya, you're an extension of source. Anyway, there's no, it's a new paradigm. You can't compare it to any old teachings, any old ways. It's not. It's a not at all. Humanity, the door's open. You've got a clean canvas. Humanity can go as high as anything. And they must stop looking back as a habit. That's old way. Looking back at the past and, oh my gosh, we had no end of history and all that nonsense. Forget about it. Here's the canvas. Your consciousness will trump everything. So you would think if anyone's focusing anything, I'd be focusing on raising my consciousness all the time, getting the highest level of consciousness, enlightenment, whatever, because that is where all ability lies to do anything. Manifest this, miracles, that, whatever, da, 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 da. Heal, da, create, channel, information, levitate, teleport, whatever you want to do. And they're going to do it. People are going to do it. It's going to take a few, see, because it's, it's humanity. And they think, oh, we, won, we can't do that. When the first guy starts levitating, everyone, it'll become common. It's like the psychic and talking to animals and, you know, like in the, in the spiritual awakening. Everyone's, oh, I can do tarot cards or I can, you know what I mean? You start off there. And when you start off, you think, oh, my gosh, when you get your awakening, because the veil's dropped, you think, my gosh, you know everything, because now you've got all this information. Oh, it's just, we, there's many levels you're still going to go. See, people think that's it when they wake up. Okay, I can talk to spirit guides and I've seen C and, and I can see this and spirits and I can see ATs and talk to them. That's it. They've reached the top. But no, it gets more than that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. People don't, they, it will, you can keep, your consciousness is going to keep going and it can keep going up until you reach the ultimate, what they call truth, enlightenment, whatever else, yeah. But before there was a limit, you see, people didn't and not many people did that now it's going to be not like a not such a common thing as I say and as more people doing it other people realize they can do it because this is human seeing doing we're going to it'll take a while but science will start seeing it and science are going to see wow these people on this awakening or the ones that are choosing to follow this path they're going to first of all think you're new age you're this and that whatever when they start seeing oh they're not aging they're living longer they're not getting sick they're doing this they do and then you're going to see the disparity of those that refuse to change and accept any new ways, new being, new teachings, new anything, you see. And they're going to stay or start. But it, it is interesting. When they come back, they're going to see. And they, they'll, you know, they can, at least they can see them. They'll, it'll be interesting. Can you imagine? They're going to look back and laugh. 
That's what I'm saying. In 200 years, you look back at your look look back at our history. 200 years, you can laugh at your grandparents. I mean, how oh look how we lived. You know, there's Victorian times, right? In 200 years, when you think now we're so awake and we're so high level of consciousness, <laughs> in 200 years, Earth is going to be so different from what you can even perceive now. When they look back to this this time, which they call the, they're going to see the end of times, right? Which is the beginning of the shift. They're going to be like, wow, they're going to be laughing at how the darkness we were. We're going to be laughing at you and us right now, the dark, like we were so primitive and still wanting to go to war and frightened of each other. And oh my gosh, we've got an alien threat. There's another thing I'm wanting to make. Remember, if you create, you're a creator. Why would you want to project, think negatively or expect like a, ooh, now to fight you haven't even finished Earth. You've been fighting for centuries on Earth. Now you want to, oh, no, we're going to make enemies on the outside. We're going to find an enemy to fight. There's a danger out there. So now they, you, know, you want to make trouble with E.T. You know what I mean? It's like, why would you want to manifest? That's an old consciousness again, you see. Well, anyway. Yeah, very much. I know. Keep, keep relevant. Yeah, it is. I know that. Keep your point in fear again. And you, oh, no. Can't roll. But it doesn't matter. As I'm saying, they're going to go back and they're going to be like, right, and study this whole thing and it's going to be like, that's it. This is the new, that's the old, well, well, the new earth and the old, whatever you want to say, paradigm, earth, end of time. And I was, it was so funny when they showed me because what you saw was, say, a light body, a spirit, taking, say, you know, human or me, whatever, by the hand and leading you out of this cave, like they were cavemen, out of the darkness. And this is what? We being led out of our own darkness, which is our consciousness, beliefs, fear, you know, oh no, uh, you know, superstition, paranoia, you know, ooh, the dark, and, and you know, and you know, this whole, yeah, this, you know, anyway, I'm not going to, as I say, because the people are still there, and we don't want to judge, and we don't want to offend people, and they don't, you know, but we're going to be laughing. <laughs> yeah. When we, you know, from what primitive ideas and what we thought things were, are beyond the veil and because we that's our belief we manifested a lot of nonsense because we were you know anyway. yeah we're I mean, gonna laugh when we because we absolutely got to take responsibility we're creating everything so stop anyway like i say stop people we're going to focus and really now starting to look for enemies out there and other planets and oh look there's enemies over there they've been just manipulated to yeah why would you want to get or start manifesting that because what you do is you create things why would you want to manifest so but that's to say, that's still us in the dark ages. Because we will learn no negative thoughts. Negative, you don't focus on the negative and unwanted and things like that because, yeah. But this is because we're still in the dark. We don't realize we're creators. We don't realize we, you know, it's easier. No, you know, we're victims here and everyone's out to get us, you know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. In 200 years, oh, wow. And this is why I'm doing this as well. I, I made this TikTok channel and my videos in Facebook and YouTube, and I'm going to leave them there because I know they're going to come back and they're going to be looking at this and, wow, look at that and whatever. They ha so I've documented my awakening. Even when I woke up and going fighting the dark and the demonic thing and all that, you know, I mean, they're going to be laughing their heads off <laughs> what I'm going to be because I'll be also there, you know, on the new thing. And so they're going to have this old video footage of us talking about, you know, our ETs and this and that, and I saw that and we were fine, you know. <laughs> What we think we're on a high level of <laughs> So we they can they will have the video footage of as you can see as the consciousness rose, you see. I think it's hilarious, yeah. It is, it's so funny. It's a, even me, I look back at my first awakening. When you first woke up and then it's all the dark and the demonic realm and you're fighting these and demons, ooh, and then you go to the E. T. realm and it's all that sort of thing. It is funny. Because you you're constantly raising. So when you think, Oh wow, you keep going up unless you think you haven't. Unless you've got some belief. If you do, it's your own belief system that's holding you. If you believe, oh, it's only 3D or 5D or I can only, you know, whatever, that's you then. You're just keeping yourself there. But I'm doing this for a reason because this is going to be like history for our, uh, for our future generations to document, wow, look at us in the dark ages. <laughs> look at those primitive humans. We were really in the dark ages. Eh? Wow, we were really paranoid and feared because everything, our thing is, is distrusting and negative and fear and you know, manipulation and control, all that's all, all bullshit. It's hilarious. But this light that's coming in now is giving the light a massive boost in consciousness. And it's well timed, of course, because source is any source anyway. This one is anyone is all that is, is behind everything. 
So we just, this is a new paradigm we're going into. It's fascinating. So we've just got a big, we're going through a big shift, which is massive liberation. Like I said, when I said channel, this energy was coming in. It feels like what I said to you, liberation. It's going to free individuals from their like self-worth, fear, this sort of thing. And ones that, you know, ones that are just waking up and they're, they're in the wrong path, they know that you're, that's going to be taken away. Whoops, divorces and job losses and things that you, if the people are on the wrong path. That's the beginning stage, you know. But we're all at different levels, you see. And it's going to keep going. But this is a huge shift. So those that are really up, everyone's going to get shifted up, shifted up, shifted up. The consciousness will keep raising. And it's fantastic to see. I mean, the light, a seriously needs this. It's so amazing to watch and so liberating just to know. Anyway, it's, it's self-liberating. It's wonderful. Because yourself, as you're going to be more and more free, you're more and more liberated, you're out of your fear, you're, in, you're standing more in your belief, your worthiness, your confidence, your knowledge, your, and just in a state of appreciation, absolute appreciation for being here, for the body you're in, for your consciousness. Oh, thank you. For, every, I mean, everything. You it just, it's just, you, the more you go, the more thankful, 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 yeah. You, uh, you walk around, you're thankful for flipping everything, for being here, for the carnation, for this body, for the dirt, for that, the plant, the earth. The... <laughs> I mean, it's just so perfect. You like this, wow. And the more you align with source, well, there we are, people. Align with source. One, you, you together, there's no separation. Work with source. And then you will just... Man, you will love it, and you will love the journey you're on. I'm just loving it. I'm loving it because you're learning. I'm, I'm loving the, the. I'm loving the journey, the spiritual awakening, because you appreciate it and you realize and you can see how you're shifting and changing, and you can see how the lessons and because now you understand. It's so you just love it. Because as you get the break, you appreciate it because you go up and because you can look back. You see, you've got the comparison, so it's like the con the contrast. So it's a, wow, that's amazing. <gasps> now you've got this whole new perspective again. It's so exciting now because now you've gone up again and you look back and oh my gosh, and you've just dropped all this bullshit. So every time it, it, you're going to be up, so it's freeing. It's what I said, the energy is liberating because every shift you go up, it's like oh wow, you've just dropped a whole lot of shit. You've just freed you and you laugh. <laughs> You laugh at yourself. <laughs> I had a good laugh last night. Again, I was awake all night. I got to sleep at about half past four this morning. The sun was coming up and I was high. Oh, you're welcome. I know, I love it. I was laughing at myself last night, having such a cackle because I was, you know, now, you've, now of course you relax, you're not in resistance. So you're lying there and the energies, I mean, like now again. And I got up at eight something this morning. I'm, I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm amazed that I'm just not sleeping. It amazes me. And I'm like, but this not happening. And then, the, you know, the light comes up and I go to sleep basically when the sun comes up. And then I wake up about two, three hours later. I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, I was laughing. So I'm lying in bed and more stuff is coming. And like, you know, because it's massive download. So you, so it's like being in a meditation in a way, because now you're lying and relaxing and you're saying thank you. And then, wow, because now you're in that mode and, in, and answers are coming and revelations are coming <gasps> and break and wow. And then you, that thing comes like a knowing, oh my gosh, that was me. I need to drop that. I have blocked myself. So I told you people, it's always you. And I'm laughing again. I'm laughing at myself. because When you realize it, when you, it's so freaking obvious and you're like, oh, for heaven's sake. And you laugh and you thank your source. That's what I'm saying. It is so the journey, the actual shift in consciousness, the raising and the, the spiritual awakening path is so amazing. Once you get out of your darkness, which takes a while, people, you've got to fight your dark things and then you've got dark ETs. Well, that's also because you've been put, it's been put into your t mind. You're focusing on it and you, if someone's feeding it to you, you're going to experience it. Stop listening to them. Stop focusing on it and you won't experience any of that. You'll leave that darkness behind you. It's only you focusing on your darkness and whatever someone's telling you, you see. But anyway, once you start fighting all the dark and there and here and off planet, whatever you've been in, this is a human thing. And then you will start so working on yourself, you will so start enjoying this. And it's such a lovely journey. And you are so thankful. I mean, you just, it's like you just fall, you're in love with yourself and so, so much. 
Uh, you just love the more you just love source more and more and more every day, because it's like wow, thank you. You feel so blessed. I mean, you just it is. It's such a blessing. It's such a beautiful. I love it. I am so enjoying the the learning. You know, the experiencing of the shift of the raising in consciousness and, you know, the healing and the clearing and the wow and the revelations and the understandings and the knowing and the information and the knowledge and the wisdom and the da 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 whatever. It just, shh. It's amazing. I mean, I absolutely am so, wow. Yes, the ringing in your ears. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's the energy. The ringing in your ears is the energy. I can hear shit now. I don't know. I mean, I'm amazed what I'm hearing. I'm like, how do I hear that? I'm saying we're going to be hearing and seeing things that we never saw. We're in a different dimension in the old experience. You're not in the same dimension or energy anymore. So you are going to have, be hearing and seeing things that you didn't normally hear and see in the old earth and the old energies and dimension. I'm hearing things. I know it's weird. And seeing energy, feeling it, all kinds of depends on you yeah, as you go up. Yeah, all of these things, that you're on your journey. And the synchronicities and the numbers and the guidance and the, well, it's amazing. But it is, I'm enjoying it. And as I say, the sky's the limit. The canvas is free. You create. You are the creator. So please watch your thoughts. As they teach, get control of your mind, your thoughts, because your thoughts and then your emotions. Consciously try and be, you know. Anyway, look after you. Focus on you and whatever else. and Yeah. Up, it's, it's an enjoyable ride. It's a bumpy ride if you started from the beginning and you're having some, you know, you've got a lot of darkness to clear. Wow. Everything you are learning and you're struggling with is your own darkness. It's your own fears. It's your own darkness. All your anger, all your things is just you. And what you see in someone else or judge or don't like, you'll notice it. It's because you, you've got it very suppressed or hidden in you. It's like, ew. I don't like that person. That person, you know, and you're like, ooh. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. The journey is so amazing. It's so liberating because you can choose who you want to be, people. Who you be. So you choose. I want to be love. I want to be compassion. I want to be peace. I want to be calm. You choose those energies, frequencies. That is now you're attaching to them. So those energies, frequencies, and vibrations you will hold in your being. You let other ones go. So what you hold in your being, remember, it's what it's, if you're on that frequency, it's what you will also come across. So that what you choose to be, love, kindness, compassion, I am love, I am peace, I am whatever, right? Calm, balance, harmony, blah, blah, blah. Think carefully. Now those energies that you eventually become a dominant, dominant frequency, because there's emotions and feelings, as I say, it's like a parrot. So you have to do it for 30 days, you say it, you feel it, you'll start feeling that. Then it becomes a dominant frequency in your being because now you automatically, it'll adjust, you are. You'll automatically be love, harmony, peace, you'll feel it, you'll hold it. What, what comes in your existence, those frequencies and vibrations and the other ones will become less and less. So you will only experience and all experiences you'll come across are those, whether it's jobs, whether it's people, it'll only be things holding that frequency. You will experience this, anything negative, anything dark, anything, and your, and your thoughts will start. You see, so everything cleans up. The negative thoughts fall away, the negative feelings, the negative emotions, the negative anything. See, any darkness. You choose what you want to be, you're becoming as a being, that's why you can, you're changing, you're evolving. What do you want to be? be as a playing as a as a you are being human right while you're being human what do you choose to be because remember you everything's frequency and vibration at the essence you want to be humble i want to be kind i want to be compassionate you want to be love so those are the free choose those things Hone in on them, hold them, and say them. You have your affirmations every day before you meditate, pray every day in the morning, or evening, whatever. Say it, feel it. I am love. I am happiness. I am peace. I am this. You can say them each three times, whatever you want. I've done a video on YouTube. You can an example for you. You will feel that. What you hold and what you feel is what you resonated, right? What you give out is what you come back. So if you are resonating and holding love, peace, things, guess what? 
That's what you are giving off. That's what comes back to you. So your life, your experience will be that. And everything around you will be that. You see how we took the thing. And the earth that spreads. You see. This is, it's a whole new paradigm. It's so difficult to try and people see. It's unfolding. But it's so awesome to see where we're going. Nothing like we've ever seen on earth. Because even our old spiritual teachings, we're in an old energy for an old level of consciousness. We are heading into a much higher, you know, that humans have never seen it. So, yeah, frequency, chat, teleportation, this, that, da, 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 whatever they want to focus on, you know, breakthroughs and take, as we go, as we raise and so it comes in, we've got to shift. But it's just so bloody awesome. So what do you want to become? Be the being. So the dominant things you say, what you think, what you feel, is what you become. And those are the frequencies you hold. That will change your life majorly. Your experience. See? So what you focus on is more what you think of. So if you're focusing on anything dark, you've been told and fearing these things out there, and you're going to work for the dark, then you're going to keep experiencing, dreaming about it, seeing it, fearing, you know, whatever. You're going to work for your shadows and it's your shadows and your fears you're going to uncover them but that's why ask pure intent that is that's like the help there ask and you shall receive seek really with intent though you really like hey please help me out here in the beginning you can ask for protection you can ask they know that you're still here so you can ask you know for protection and help and you know when you're going through your healing and trauma releasing you will be given it then you'll be given that love compassion and grace but you've got to really mean it. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, just, you know, here we are. That's why nothing happens. And they're like, well, how come? Because they don't really care. And they're not really meaning it, you see. It's not from the heart. So nothing will happen. Same with healing. You cannot heal or self-heal if you have any doubt or don't believe it or whatever else. And I shared a video. There's an example. There's so many of them. This will become a common place in those with a higher, on the consciousness path and those not are going to get more, they're going to be stuck with their diseases and illnesses and cancer, and you know, and it's science will see a distinctive difference. And so, I'm saying eventually that's why I'm doing this as well. I'm documenting this, and I especially put on my channels 2020 and beyond because I know they're going to come back to this time. And I've made all my videos out there, so they've got documented proof of a conscious journey. It's how you can see these, you know, they're going to watch all these, it'll be great fun. And some really interesting ones out there that are losing the plot and in a real dark place, you know what I mean? Tinfoil hats and all kinds of things going on out there and all kinds of weird... You know, it's interesting to watch. They're going to go back and think, holy shit, look at our, look at our ancestors, you know. Wow, they were really primitive and frightened and really in the dark, you know. <laughs> but there we are, and it's a nice journey to see. So you can see how we rose, you know what I mean? The shift. Um, yeah going to be massively studied by psychologists and anthropologists and whatever anyway just archives just our history oh look at the dark ages you know humans as, as beings were once in you know oh look at those primitive humans still killing animals and fighting with each other and fearing the dark and all oh, this thing's out to get them and that's so funny i'm laughing even at myself because when you're in there you really do eh? you really do you really think, wow, there's other things, you know, you don't realize, you're, you don't realize, it's, uh, it's, because I suppose we're taught, no, you're not a creator, oh, don't equal yourself there, you know, no, 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 we, we definitely, and that's what people don't realize, even now, they're busy, like, believing in creating, a, they want to really create enemies with, uh, off planets that don't even, haven't even met these people, no, no, we've got, we're gonna, let's, let's, it's manifest wars with other species and other planets, why would you want to do that, that's not wise, you know, you bring it to you, people. You manifest. Anyway, whatever. It's, it's, as I said, that's, well. Okay, lovely people. Let's see how the evening goes. Hectic energy is still coming in. I can feel pressure on my head. Cells are my tingling, my legs. Zzz, you know, the, 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 the same thing. I, yeah. So there we are, you know. It's exhausting. So hang on there. Have There's great hope. There is massive. Oh, it's amazing. Great light coming into planet. The humanity, there's no limits. I mean, the, the doors open and we can go as high as anything. And we've got great possibility potential. 
Yes, there are those that are the ones solar doctors are still in their fear and control and paranoia and delusion. Everyone's going to war with them. And, you know, they're always looking for wars or protection or defending against this and defending against that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Take a long time, you know, for them to come out of that. And especially, it's an industry. There's a lot of money in the whole military and armies and that's anyway. But yeah, we're going to be laughing. Just like we do. I mean, I look at my grandparents. I mean, I look at the Victorian age and you think, wow, they were very like, wow, in the dark. People. <laughs> Just in 50 years' time, are we going to see a huge difference on the thing? You look back in 50 years' time, you're going to be like, oh, wow. I look back in a year or two at myself and I'm like, ooh, it's a bit embarrassing. Because what you thought you were, when you were awake, you first wake up, wow, you know, I can do this and I can astral and I can, you know, it's like, woo. <laughs> but I mean, what we where we going is like wow. There is it's nothing we've seen. If we start having that, and there'll be a few they're going to reach very high levels of consciousness on the planet. They're going to show you know, that will lead. We we'll need those, and other people think okay they can do it. Yeah, wow. You see, it's like it's like a like a dominoes effect, which is great. So have no doubt. Have absolute faith absolute ask but I mean I mean really pure heart and intent is your key to the door all right ask whether you ask from absolute sadness desperation help you know if you really mean it and you're desperate and you're scared or whatever else and you ask for help believe me and you like surrender you're sorry whatever whatever just say please you know hell help me out here it comes to you yeah I'm just loving this and it's gonna roll these energies that are coming in this year are very powerful. It's going to kick ass. So the ones that are, so a lot of people, as I said, people also will also exit the planet because energies are too much, you know, or just a bit hectic. Or if you're holding too much dark, dense energy and things, and also time to go, you know, it's other things. They're going to come back because they're going to reincarnate back with, with a, if you're old and you're holding a dark, dense energy. So there's no reason for those people to stay on the planet anymore. So they will be leaving. So a lot of elderly with dark, dense energy or time, we consider older, will go different ages. It's because if your consciousness, you don't want to shift and change, what's the point of, you see, it's a source, you're still sticking around. So people are dying in their 50s and 60s or whatever. They're going to come back in a new body, but in, a, in the new energy. See? You might still have to work for your shite. That's your choice because we have choices. So you can choose what you want to believe in. That's what I'm saying. Everything is a choice. You choose what you want to be. What world you want to live in. Because what you believe in here and think is exactly what you're going to get. It's everything is consciousness. If you can just accept that, that there's, it's everything. Your consciousness trumps up is your key, is your power. It's all you've got to know. You know, it's what you're holding inside. You'll find out. But go to the Buddhas. There's some great teachings, but I mean on a higher level, you go, when you go through all the different consciousnesses and, and levels and things, it's your ego and things, yeah. It, it's, we, you can, we are creators. You can create something. We create, I mean, you can create and manifest any shit you want, dark, whatever kind of things, enemies, wars, whatever. It's only us. Nobody else in the room, as Bashar says, uh, literally. That's what I'm saying. They're going to laugh their heads off when they look back at this awakening in, in a year, a hundred years of, even, even a hundred years. In 200 years, oh wow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so anyway, I'm leaving them enough footage so they can have fun. <laughs> look at those people. Wow. Crazy shit. <laughs> And it is. Even I embarrassed of my old ones. And I'm like, but then I thought, no, that's what I'm saying. It's great. It's documented. It's documented for them to say, look, you know, some people were aware. We could see. We were telling people. We could see what's coming. And it's awesome, people. It's awesome what's coming. I love it. So light's just got to boost up. We needed it. Because, you know, people fall back into a lot of awakening starts. But then you hit so many people going through the shadow. So, of course, they're all going through the shadow. They're resonating for the dark. They're looking, oh, so, of course, there's war. There's fear. There's someone's going to get us. There's ETs are going to get us. They're trying to kill us. This one's trying. That's it. So, wow. It's pushing out. So, there's a massive amount of purging and shadow being released or projected on the planet. 
So we needed this massive boost to like, okay, people drop your shit now, stop focusing on, on negative things and start thinking about you choosing to follow and believe. You choosing to feed your mind with negative things, negative content. Uh, this is it. You are only person holding yourself, creating and staying in the darkness. See? Anyway. Doesn't matter what I say. They know this and they're going to watch... And that's why I'm documenting it all and I'm talking about it and I'm sharing it because they all, you know, you can see, okay, yeah, right. And then you can look back and you can see, even my videos, like stuff I channeled, what was going to happen. In a year or so, people are like, no, I'm even looking back now. Okay, I was, what I'm saying there, I can see it's happening. So there's a documented proof to see. I told you. It's going to happen. It's so awesome. It's so amazing. I just freaking love it. I am, I am, I'm absolutely over the moon and privileged and happy and to, to be able to be here to and so and um, now I can understand why we didn't want to miss it why the planet's so full because I mean this is an opportunity you can choose you stay in the dark or go as high as you want and my gosh if you take that choice it's like you've just taken the ticket to heaven you have actually and it's like wow this is one ride you don't want to miss out on people it is so wonderful it's such a blessing you feel so blessed and you are. Because if you seek it and you go up there, um, you have all the support that you could possibly imagine. All right, so just keep going, keep asking, keep seeking, keep working. I said, all that's coming is wonderful. It's freaking awesome what's coming. Oh, wow, it is awesome. You choose it too. Yep. Yeah, that's it. We're shining the light for those people to wake up. You see, if you if you are that, they can see it and they resonate with the energy. So it's for them to do. As we know, we're here to remind them. I was told that today we're not here to save anyone because that's actually ego. That's ego because there is no one to save. Everyone's source. So you're trying to say, oh well, that 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 factual of sources is, is not as not as strong or powerful or as intelligent as me. No. Everybody is an extension of source. There's only one. There's only one creator. All that is source. Everybody. Every being on this planet, everything around you is a fractal, is a part of source. So we think, oh, we've got to help them. We've got to save them. We've got to this and that. That's, that's ego. It's arrogance. Because then you're saying, oh, well, I'm better than that. No. How can one part of source be better than another part? We're all source. You're all part of source. You're absolutely equal. Because source is just one. You're all part of it. Your one divine consciousness, the one being, out of the physical body, you are one. So you are not better, stronger, brighter than anyone else in here. When you're in the Maya, yes, you might be. So we are here just to shine the light, to hold the, be the light, emit that energy. So we will, this is what we're doing. It's triggering. We call it mass awakening. As you know, it's like dominoes. They're coming off. So the higher frequency and light we hold, they have the energy to shift. You, you are basically... We're tipping the magnetic, as you see, the Schumann resonance. So the more of us raise in consciousness, the planet raises. As humans, you are attached to that. That's why you can feel the shit. You are affected by the frequency, vibration, we, we just energy and consciousness. The, our body is just energy. That's all that exists. So the energy is going up. And as you notice, you are feeling it. And if you like it or not, yes. And if you resist it, you can refuse it. But then, as I say, you're probably not going to stick around long die of all kinds of things heart attack this that whatever old age who knows whatever so i'm saying people think it's not it's the energies and okay you know there's no point and you choose to exit if you don't choose to relieve yourself now if you're not able to break out your darkness then you will you know come back with a higher level of consciousness in a new body very quickly anyway but those of us that are on this journey willingly oh man it is just as I'm saying, you have the sky's the limit, people. You've got your canvas. And it's so awesome. Every time, you know, we go up and it's like, wow, that's amazing. And then you think, okay, wow. And then you know. Now, I'm no, and now I realize there is no. I just expect your consciousness just, you know, keeps going. The knowing, the knowledge, the, everything just keeps coming in. It's like, wow. The breakthroughs, the, it's just, ooh. All right, I love you all. I'm going to have my teas probably ice cold. Um, I'm not going to see what happens about this evening. We'll see. But I'm getting to see lots of sunrises.
<laughs> and so I just eventually get up, open my curtains and go to sleep. <laughs> I go to bed like, okay, it's light now. I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> so it's, it's crazy. Oh, it's like, oh, yeah. Anyway. And I've got to visit her for a few days. So I won't, I might not be on. You know, to be rude, you know. I'm not, I'm not sleeping anyway. This has been, it's actually a few nights now. Wow. And I can feel my cells and my legs are seriously buzzing at the moment. My stomach, my body, I mean, they're vibrating, really. It's like, you know, you get those vibrating mats and chairs. That's what I'm doing. I'm not even sitting on one, but it literally, it feels like I'm sitting on one, you know, massage chair or massage mat that's going, you sit in them and it goes in your whole cells. That's exactly what I'm like. Oh. I've lost track of how many nights I've been awake now. And what, what amazes me is that when I got up today, it was hot, and I thought, oh, wow, it must be about 10, 11, 12 o'clock, and I've just woken up, you know. Oh, it's actually warm. Because like I said, I woke, I opened my curtains, and then I went to sleep. And, and then it was like, oh, this is hot. So I thought, okay, I'm going to miss the day. And then I got up, put the coffee, and I was tired. And I thought, oh, gosh, and I put some coffee on. And it was like 8.30. I thought, for heck, shit, I've only slept for about three hours. <laughs> oh, he's like, hey, well, but it, you just... What can you do? You know? You, do, you, get, you just go with it. I don't even try now. I'm like, okay, you know, if I'm awake, I'm not, I'm whatever. You just, it's like a river. Jump on and just get in the boat and don't try and get, you know, fight it and resist it and ask. Or, I'm like, okay, I would like to sleep now. But then I realize I'm happy staying awake because, you know, the stuff is just coming in and I'm like, wow, yeah, cool, okay, yes. You know, you can't, you're like, wow, this is so cool. And you're so thankful and you more things are coming to you and more like, okay, yeah, they let me, let me release that. And Jeez, really. So, yeah, as I say, it's all us. Um, so I'm just going with what I feel, you know, in a way. It's okay, whatever. I'm still awake. That's good. All right. Love you all. So lots of light, lots of hope. Big boost for the planet. Anyone that's believing you stop following all that nonsense that's giving you negative timelines. That's what I say. That's the darkness. People in the darkness are following the darkness. And I mean fed the darkness. Stop following anyone that's telling you any negative And oh my gosh, this is going to happen. And oh, there was. That's in the dark. And that's pushing the dark. If you don't want, if you want to break away from the dark, you've got to stop listening to it. Feeding yourself the stuff. And then you will start rising. You'll rise even more. It's you that's holding yourself there. Okay. Don't listen to it. Don't watch it. Don't scroll it. Block it. Unsubscribe from the things in the groups. And you will start seeing a big difference yourself. Okay. And what you think you're worried about there. Even those things in your astrals will start vanishing. When you choose not to focus on them and believe. They will also start. And then you will start seeing maybe a little bit more insight to why and what. That you've got to work your way up, people. Okay, and if you're in it, you cannot tell someone because they seeing it, their belief, and that's it. It's their belief. You're not going to change them. They have to, for themselves, get that notch in consciousness and realize, ooh, okay, yeah, that's not what I thought it was. No, <laughs> you see, me telling you, oh, what you're believing is wrong, and that's nonsense, and that's this, and that, you're going to get offended. Because it's your, you're not holding that frequency. You can't resonate with me. Your frequency and your core belief is there. You've created that reality, that world is your belief, and that is it. You cannot see out that. And if you willingly choose to raise your consciousness or choose not to have any negative beliefs, but that comes with, you know, see, it'll come in the rays. So it, it's all perfect. People will come up in their own time through their, you know, sh the stages you've got to rise. Love you guys. Have a great morning, evening, day, night, wherever you are. And it's all fantastic. Right. You've got the help of the entire source, universe, creator, God out there. Ask people. And you can start cruising. Okay. Stop focusing on people, listening to people. Ask. And start pulling yourself out of it. And wow. You can only go up and up and up. All right. Love you guys. Bye.